Today we will see different cases of genitourinary system. Let's start. Case no one, IVP study, shows horseshoe kidney. Note below or calices descending toward midline near isthmus, and the U-shaped nephrogram. Case no 2 A 44 EM old patient presence with right-sided flank pain. This is a post-nutrition image from an intravenous urogram series. There is dilatation of the right pelvic initial system. With marked bulbous dilatation of the distal right ureter with a surrounding radiolucent halo, seen within the contrast-filled bladder. No filling defects are seen within the distal right ureter and the surrounding lucent halo is well defined. There is delayed contrast clearance from the right renal collecting system relative to the left. The left renal collecting system decompresses normally, but the distal left ureter appears prominent. There is no evidence of a duplex collecting system on the right or on the left. The cobra head appearance of the right distal ureter is consistent with the diagnosis of a large, right-sided ureter cole. This is complicated by a right-sided obstructive uropathy and a possible further small, uncomplicated ureter cole on the left. In my routine practice, I would like to review the control film and the remainder of the series. Harold Werner Wunderlich syndrome in a 27-year-old woman. A. Right kidney is not visible on IVU, suggesting right renal agenesis. B. Axial T2 weighted MR image shows two split uterine horn, arrows, suggestive of uterine didelphysis. Congenital renal hypoplasia associated with contralateral cystic medullary sponge kidney in an 18 year old male patient. A. IVU shows collection of contrast material in the dilated collecting ducts with tubular and cystic appearances in the left kidney. B. Nininonst CT shows small right kidney, arrow. Left kidney is large and has cystic lesions containing calcifications in the dependent portions. C. Contrast enhanced CT shows small cysts in the hypoplastic right kidney, arrow, and large cystic lesions in the left kidney. Case No. 3 of pelvic kidney in a 23-year-old man. Plain radiograph, A, and 15-minute IVU, B, show non-opacification of the left kidney in the usual location. Instead, there is a kidney, arrows, in the left pelvic cavity with opacification of the pelvogalices and ureter, arrowheads. Dysplastic pelvic kidney in a 26-year-old woman. A. There is no right kidney in the renal fossa in axial contrast enhanced CT. B. Contrast enhanced CT shows small size kidney with cortical irregularity, arrow, in the right pelvic cavity. This is a single ultrasound image of the left kidney with a colored Doppler overlay. There are multiple hypochoic masses seen within the left kidney, with only residual normal renal parenchyma or cortex. The appearances are those of a multicystic abnormality, indistinguishable from long-standing renal obstruction. The common causes of this appearance beside long-standing renal obstruction include a multicystic renal neoplasm and xanthogranulomatous pielonephritis. In view of the extent of this abnormality on the ultrasound examination and to ascertain involvement of the surrounding structures, I would take this further by recommending a pre- and post-contrast CT scan examination of the abdomen. These are CT pre- and post-contrast images from the same patient. These images demonstrate evidence of replacement of the renal parenchyma by low attenuation fluid collections, which exhibit marginal enhancement. A central area of calcification, likely a Stagham renal calculus, is seen within a contracted renal pelvis. Gerardo's fascia on the left is thickened. An irregular perineal fluid collection is well demonstrated lateral to the kidney, representing external spread of the process. The most likely diagnosis is xanthogranulomatous pielonephritis, and I would like to review a delayed phase CT and or a nuclear medicine study to evaluate the function of the left kidney. Cross-fused ectopic kidney in a 30-year-old man. IVU shows two kidneys in the left abdomen. The upper pole of the right kidney is fused to the lower pole of the left kidney, arrows. 
This is case of the horseshoe kidney. IVU images show vertical orientation of the kidneys and fusion of the lower poles. Note that the isthmus consists of renal parenchyma and has calices in it, arrows. Also note that the left renal pelvis is dilated due to associated ureteropelvic pelvic junction obstruction. Again a case of horseshoe kidney with parenchymal isthmus. Another case of horseshoe kidney with fibrous isthmus. IVU shows vertical orientation of both kidneys indicating horseshoe kidney. Note that the right kidney has contour abnormality with calicial deformity in the lower polar region, arrows, but the lower pole of the left kidney is well demarcated. This finding suggests that the isthmus of the horseshoe kidney is thin and composed of fibrous tissue. CT brain without contrast, axial images of the head obtained without contrast viewed in brain and bone window settings. Area of encephalomalacia seen in the right parietal lobe having CSF density consistent with old ischemic infarct. Recent ischemic infarct in the right side thalamus. Bilateral confluent hypodensities noted in periventricular white matter at the level of corona radiate and central semioval. Sylvian fissure and sulco pattern including ventricles are dilated. No intraparenchymal hemorrhage or focal lesion having mass effect is seen. No shift of midline structures. The posterior fossa structures and orbits are unremarkable. The air cells of the petrous temporal bone and visualized paranasal sinuses are well aerated. The soft tissues of the scalp are normal. No depressed skull fracture is seen. This is case of reversed rotation of the kidney in a 67-year-old woman. A. Ivu shows malrotation of the right kidney. Note that the renal pelvis is directing laterally, arrow. B. Contrast enhanced CT scan of the kidney demonstrates anterolateral direction of the renal pelvis, arrow. Small colicial diverticulum in a 34-year-old woman. A 25-minute IVU shows a small diverticulum, arrow, in the interpolar calyx of the left kidney. Note that the left kidney is malrotated. Colicial diverticulum in a 68-year-old woman. A 5-minute IVU shows a round colicial diverticulum, arrow, connected to the fornix of the upper polar calyx, arrowhead, of the right kidney. Hydroglycosis in a 30-year-old woman. Figure A. Longitudinal U.S. of the right kidney shows a large lobulated cystic lesion, arrows, in the lower polar area. Figure B. Contrast enhanced CT shows a large cystic lesion, arrows, in the right kidney containing excreted contrast material, asterisks. IVU images obtained with a patient in supine seen in figure C and erect D position show a large, lobulated, cystic lesion, arrows containing excreted contrast material in the right kidney. Congenital ureteral pelvic junction obstruction. A. A 1H IVU shows dilated left pelvocalysis due to an obstruction at the ureteral pelvic junction. The exact site of the ureteral pelvic junction is not clear on this IVU image. B. Retrograde pelography, RGP, shows that the narrowed ureteral pelvic junction, arrow, is higher than the bottom of the dilated renal pelvis, arrowheads. Congenital ureteral pelvic junction obstruction with massive dilatation of the renal pelvis occupying whole abdomen in a 30-year-old woman. A. A 10-minute IVU shows non-opacification of the left urinary tract. B. U.S. of the abdomen and transverse plane shows a huge mass with lobulating contour occupying whole abdomen. Aorta. C. RGP obtained with the catheter in the left ureteral orifice shows the left ureter deviated to the right side and narrowed ureteral pelvic junction, arrow. Injected contrast material fills markedly dilated pelvocalyses of the left kidney, arrowheads. D. Non-enhanced CT scan obtained following RGP shows markedly dilated renal pelvis, asterisks, and calyces, C, of the left kidney which are opacified with contrast material due to previous RGP. 
congenital ureter pelvic junction obstruction due to aberrant vessel in a 40-year-old woman. Congenital obstruction of the proximal ureter in a 35-year-old man due to an aberrant vessel supplying lower pole of the kidney. RGP shows an S-shaped configuration with obstruction, arrow, in the right ureter with dilatation of pelvocalysis and proximal ureter. Note that the S-shaped loop of the ureter is narrow and does not run medial to the vertebral pedicle. At surgery, there was an aberrant vessel supplying the lower pole of the right kidney crossing the narrowed portion of the ureter. Congenital ureteral obstruction due to a ureteral valve in a 66-year-old man. RGP shows obstruction of the left proximal ureter by a valve, arrow, with severe hydronephrosis. Congenital megaureter and megapolycalicosis in a 30-year-old woman. A. A 5 minutes IVU shows large number of calyces with slight dilatation in right kidney. Note that the right renal pelvis is not dilated. B. A 30 minutes IVU shows fusiform dilatation of right distal ureter, arrows, without significant obstruction. Congenital megaureter and megacalicosis with multiple stones in a 30-year-old woman. A. Plain radiograph shows multiple stones, arrowheads, in the left kidney and left distal ureter. B. A 25 minutes IVU shows dilated calyces and distal ureter on left side. Note left renal pelvis and proximal ureter are not dilated. Also note similar changes in the right urinary tract. This is case of the circumacaval ureter in a 60-year-old woman. The proximal right ureter is dilated with reverse J-shaped configuration, arrows. This is case of RGP finding of circumacaval ureter. Right RGP shows medial swing of the proximal ureter due to circumacaval ureter. This is case of circumacaval ureter with ureteral stone in a 40-year-old man. A. Axial noncontrast CT shows ureteral stone, arrow, in the right proximal ureter. B. AGP shows the characteristic ureteral course that sweeps cephalad where it passes behind the inferior vena cava. Note round ureteral stone, arrow, in the dilated circumacaval ureter. Complete duplication of the collecting system with upper moiety contraction and ureterocele. Figure, A, longitudinal US of the right kidney shows contracted upper polar region with markedly increased echogenicity, arrows. B, IVU shows faint opacification of the upper moiety calyces in the right kidney, arrows, and an indentation on the right base of the urinary bladder suggesting a ureterocele. Note that the left collecting system is also duplicated. C. Contrast enhanced CT shows contracted posteromedial aspect of the upper pole of the right kidney, arrowheads. D. US of the urinary bladder in right parasagittal plane shows a thin walled ureterocele in the bladder base suggesting an ectopic ureterocele, arrowheads. This is case of complete duplication of the collecting system with ureteropelvic junction obstruction in the upper moiety, a, IVU image shows dilated calyx in the upper moiety of the left kidney with collection of contrast material in the dependent portion of a calyx, asterisk. Note that the lower moiety calyces are displaced by the dilated calyces in the upper part of the kidney. b, at cystoscopic, there were two ureteral orifices. A catheter was inserted into each ureteral orifice and RGP was taken. RGP shows severe stenosis at the ureteropelvic junction of the upper moiety, arrow. Complete duplication with vesicoureteral reflux into the lower moiety ureter causing parenchymal scar, producing a nubbin sign. A. IVU shows contracted lower pole of the right kidney with faint caliceal opacification, arrows. B. VCU shows vesicoureteral reflux into the lower moiety urinary tract, arrows. C. US of the right kidney shows atrophic lower pole with echogenic scar, arrow.
duplication with obstruction of the ureterovesical junction due to a stone producing a yo-yo phenomenon. A. IVU shows incomplete duplication of the right collecting system. There is an obstructing stone in the ureterovesical junction, arrow. Although the lower moiety ureter is contracted by forward peristalsis, the upper moiety ureter is dilated by backward reflux, arrowheads. B. Delayed image shows the contracted upper moiety ureter and dilated lower moiety ureter, arrowheads. Note a stone in the ureterovesical junction with surrounding edema arrow. Simple ureterocele in a 50-year-old woman. IVU shows fusiform dilatation of intramural portion of the left ureter with sharply defined lucent wall, arrowheads, which has a typical cobra head appearance. Exophytic angiomyolipoma in a 50-year-old woman. Figure a. Longitudinal U.S. of the right kidney shows a large exophytically growing echogenic mass, arrows, in the upper pole. Note that the echogenicity of the tumor is similar to that of renal sinus and that the posterior margin of the mass is ill-defined. B. Non-enhanced CT shows a mass, arrows, with fatty attenuation in the upper pole of right kidney. C. Contrast-enhanced coronal CT shows modeled and linear structures, arrows, with mild enhancement in the mass. D. T1 weighted MRI shows high signal intensity of fatty tissue in the mass, arrow. E. T2 weighted image also shows high signal intensity of fatty tissue. F. Coronal fat suppressed T1 weighted image well demonstrates the exophytic nature of the mass and decreased signal intensity caused by fat suppression. This is case of angiomyolipoma with mixed fatty and non-fatty components in a horseshoe kidney. Angiomyolipoma in a 47-year-old woman. Ultrasound shows a well-demarcated hyperechoic mass in the right kidney. B. Coronal in phase T1-weighted MRI shows a mass with slightly high signal intensity, arrow, at lower pole of right kidney. C. Coronal out of phase T1-weighted MRI shows marked signal drop in the mass, arrow, suggesting fatty components in the mass. Extensive renal angiomyolipoma, lymphangioliomyomatosis of lung, and brain involvement. In a 34-year-old woman with tuberous sclerosis. A. Non-enhanced CT shows bilateral huge renal masses. Masses are mainly of fatty components. All abdominal space is replaced by the masses. Large masses with a prominent fatty component are seen on contrast enhanced CT, D, multiple variable-sized air cysts in both lungs suggest lymphangioliomyomatosis. E, two large subependymal giant cell astrocytomas, arrows, with strong enhancement in the ventricular floor and ventriculomegaly are seen on enhanced coronal T1-weighted MRI. Bleeding G from a pre-existing renal angiomyolipoma in a 41-year-old man. A. About fork-sized heterogeneous mass, arrow, containing fat is seen in the lower pole of the right kidney. B. CT scan taken three years later shows high attenuation area, asterisk, suggesting acute hemorrhage. C. Contrast-enhanced CT shows a round-enhancing lesion suggesting pseudoaneurysm, arrowheads. Perirenal hematoma asterisk, is also present around right kidney. D. Color Doppler US shows typical yin-yang sign of the pseudoaneurysm, arrows, with hypertrophic feeding artery, arrowheads. E. Selective renal arteriogram of right accessory renal artery shows irregular tortuous hypervascularities, arrows, and pseudoaneurysm, arrowheads. This is case of the bleeding angiomyolipoma in a 73-year-old man. Figure, A, non-enhanced CT shows a large fatty mass, arrow, in the right kidney associated with large acute perirenal hematoma, asterisks, with high attenuation. B, round and tubular hyperdense active bleeding, arrows, is seen after contrast material injection. C, Renal angiogram shows a large hypervascular mass, arrows, with irregular tumor vessels.
Note active extravasation of contrast material. Arrowheads, to retroperitoneal space. Metanephric adenoma in a 56-year-old woman. A. U.S. shows a homogeneous hypojoy exophytic mass, arrows, in the left kidney. B. Color Doppler U.S. shows vascular flow signal, arrows, in the mass. C. Non-enhanced CT scan shows a mass, arrows, with subtle high attenuation to the surrounding renal parenchyma. Contrast enhanced CT scans in cortical, D, and excretory, E, phases show a well demarcated mass, arrows, with slow progressive enhancement. Rena L. Oncocytoma in a 55-year-old man. A. U.S. shows a round mass of medium-level echo, arrows, in the right kidney. B. Contrast-enhanced CT shows a well-enhancing mass, arrow, with a linear central low attenuated portion suggesting central scar. Multilocular cystic nephroma in a 48-year-old woman. A. Transverse U.S. shows a multilocular cystic mass, arrows, in the right kidney. B. No vascular flow is seen in the septa or capsule of the mass, arrows, on color Doppler U.S. C. Non-enhanced CT scan shows a round mass, arrow, with multiple septa of slightly high attenuation in the right kidney. D. Septa and capsule of the mass, arrow, shows enhancement after contrast material injection. E, T2 weighted axial MRI shows a mass, arrow, of high intensity within the locules and low intensity septa. This is case of hypervascular RCC of clear cell type in a 48 year old man. This is case of RCC of chromophobe type in a 46 year old man. RCC, bilateral adrenal pheochromocytomas, an endolymphatic sac tumor of the mastoid in a 34-year-old man with von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. A and B, contrast-enhanced CT scans in nephrographic phase show hypervascular masses in bilateral adrenal glands, arrows, A, and a cystic mass, thick arrow, with enhancing septa in the right kidney, B, thin arrow, lower part of the left adrenal mass. C. An enhancing mass, arrow, is also found in the right mastoid process on contrast enhanced, T1 weighted coronal mister image. If you like these cases, kindly subscribe our channel, like it and share it.